OMG Machine! What's going on guys, welcome back to another Beyblade Burst Rise unboxing and today we have here the new Devilos or like the second version of Devilos that is um, This is Erase Devilos D5 so, so Delta in the anime has like two variation of his Devilos Bay initially So this is his left spinning version The white one instead of the black one that we saw from Venom So. Venom Devilos was the one before, this is now Erase Devilos. This is a dual pack, a Beyblade Burst Rise product, so no launchers in here. But right beside it, we also get Left Astro A5. So Left Astro is a kind of unique Beyblade because you can kind of swap it around with the Artemis Bay and make it whole again, like uh, different variations with it. Uh, all right, that's uh, kind of the stuff that we get in this pack. Let's take a look at the back of the box. These are Hyper Spirit Bays, of course, so they got that new performance tip system. We also have a new stat, uh, Erase Devilos has 4 in drop in frequency, so pretty quick, uh, like going up and down, looks like here, in from the stats, and also the runtime, so aka like the stamina in the stadium, as a 2, so pretty low stamina there. A, it is a balance type, so I really like balance types, it's kind of like you no know, shoe and Spriggan. Um, it's always kind of nice to have a little bit of attack, but at the same time not too crazy and being able to like defend itself as well. A pretty common question from you guys probably is going to be asking about the Erase Devilos parts. Um, if you take a look at the part names, we have D75, which is the same disc that we got from Venom Devilos. Uh, however, the performance tip we get here is TH18. So obviously it is not bullet, not the actual bullet driver, just a hypersphere Hasbro version, but it is not the same one as the Venom Devilos. Venom Devilos, we got TH11, I believe. We'll take a look at the differences and also weigh it out, uh, do some test battles later on as well. So without further ado, let's open up the package and open up our Erase Devilos D5. So right before we get started with the unboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. Thank you so much for your support. Two variations of Bullet Driver, Hasbro. Be interesting you know, to compare the two now. Yeah, they should have came with like Venom Devilos and then Erase Devilos. But you know, you gotta buy more packs so that you can complete everything else. Here are the bay parts that we get from this double pack. So Erase Devilos D5. Pretty much the most significant difference compared to Venom Devilos is that it's left spinning and its design is white. Uh, that's the clear giveaway there for you uh, guys who are new to Beyblade Briss Rise. In the anime, Delta, every time he like changes over to Erase Devilos, you know that's when he's serious. It's true, like uh, it's nice that in the anime he even like switches it up pretty often. It's always nice to see even anime characters, you know, customizing and promoting that aspect of gameplay. Uh, so next thing we have here is D75, which is the Hasbro version of Vanguard. The Vanguard version that we got from Takara Tomy was way bulkier, lots of like sharp edges pointing down and stuff like that, so we don't see that here. However, in the Hasbro format here, you can add a frame onto this uh, Vanguard disc. And then our third major part is the Hypersphere Striver, TH18. There are some marks and etching on the outside perimeter and uh, I think we have to compare this to the other uh, driver that we had from Venom Devilos. Uh, that would be pretty interesting. I'm pretty sure it's really different. It is still red color though. Something that we found very interesting, the GT chip. Although it looks very similar to Venom Devilos's, it is only left spinning. So it is a left spinning chip uh, only designed for left spinning base, so you can only customize this with other uh, left spinning layers. You can swap the Venom Devilos' GT chip onto the Erase Devilos. And for those of you who are interested in Left Astro, here's a quick look at the layer system. So we just kind of pop up the uh, middle portion which uh, separates the two parts, and then we can customize it with our right Artemis and uh, swap it for left spinning core or the right spinning core. And then just uh, you know have different variation in the gameplay, so it's kind of fun. The D69 disc is Blitz. Uh, we got this from Valtrick previously, so they kind of put this in for us uh, for us to complete the collection if we don't have it already. And of course, being Beyblade geeks that we are, we already have it. Then we also have TH04, another uh, Hypersphere driver that we already have. 
And so that's pretty much it for uh, Left Astro. We'll give you a quick look. Fun fact for you guys uh, who didn't know, Takara told me actually came up with the Left Astro and Right Artemis uh, layer system design. It's actually a fan suggestion. So kind of interesting that um, in the original you know, design of this bay came from just a fan, like came from somebody at home who suggested and thought of it uh, and you know drew it out. And then the engineering team you know, decided to make it into a real toy. All right guys, let's take a look at Erase Devilos and show you the complete form. So Erase Devilos and Venom Devilos actually come with different drivers and uh, or performance tips as you call it in Hasbro form. TH18 from Erase Devilos is actually larger and it's more circular. Yeah, the new one is definitely way rounder, like way more spherical. It's definitely gonna have like more stamina in the stadium during those last rotations. It's time to weigh the base and compare it with the other. Erase Devilos, the new one that we just got. Oh, wow, look at the driver is so spherical that it doesn't really like sit properly. So let me just flip it. 41.98. Okay, pretty much 42. 40. Pretty much 42. It's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, and then Venom Devilos. Yep, 41.97. So pretty much identical weights. Ah, interesting. Even though they have different drivers. Erase Devilos, let's do a test spin. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. <laughs> Yo, it keeps flying up in that corner. Not bad. I mean, it doesn't move as quickly as I thought it would, but that'll probably change in a battle. Yeah, okay, let's do let's a do test spin. Dust Balkesh, your first opponent. I mean, test battle, let's do it. 3, Three 2, two one. 1, let it rip. Yeah, look, you're not really climbing up. It's not too aggressive. Oh, nice. Spin finish. Okay, um, let's try to you know, launch it a little bit harder. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Three, Three two, one. one. Not bad. Some pretty good movements in the beginning. Oh, big hit at the end. Balkesh still dominating though. Dude, but Balkesh is like, dude, it's ball oh, around like so good. good. All right, let's go up against Venom Devilos. Three, two, one. Let's test out the two different forms. Oh. Oh, oh. burst at the very end. Wow. wow. Nice. Zone Luinor. Another lost pin, hey? 3, Three two, 2, 1. one. <laughs> oh, they were like dodging each other's attacks. Oh, that was a nice curve movement. No, Luinor. Oh, finally a win. Judgment Joker. 3, Three 2, two one. 1. What an intense attack. Yo, that was like the best Hasbro round I've seen all year. Yo, destroy Devilos there. That was insane. Dude, this is my video, man. Why are you dominating me in this video? My In my home game. Sword Valtria, come up next. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, uh, losing so much stamina though. Yeah, those big attacks, huge movements, you'll lose all oh, that spin. No. Nice. Wow, even Sword Valtric takes that survivor finish. All right, Ace Dragon. Three, Three two, one. one. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? What the heck? Oh, that, was sick. that was sick. All right, Fafnir. Three, Three two, two, one. Stamina type. What? Oh. Yo, what happened to Fafnir's spin? I have no clue. It just disappeared. What'd you do? Oh, that was fun though. That was intense. All right, guys. So that's basically it for an unboxing of Erase Devilos or Left Astro. If you guys came to the video for that, um, overall it's a pretty fun Beyblade. I think um, it being like a left spin definitely is an attribute that gets me excited. So um, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, 
Comment below on what you guys want to see next. And make sure you subscribe. As always, geeks out.